This video will cover how to set up a crowd scene, which we will later activate Ragdoll functionality on. Let's start by putting down an agent from the character shelf set. Just going to turn off wireframes on shaded. And I'll just change him to another texture. Now our next step will be to bake out his animation walk cycle, so let's click on Bake Agent and follow the prompts. Now our walk cycle is baked out, we can click on Collision Layer. Houdini will generate some hidden shapes around our agent, which will come into play when we do ragdoll sims, for example. Next, we'll set the rotation limits of the agent's joints by clicking on Configure Joints. I'll put down a grid where I want the agents to spawn from. And change the size. I'm just going to change the background to black since gray on gray is not really going to help us here. All right, let's finally make our crowd. Click on Populate. Click on our agent and the grid. I'm going to turn off the ortho grid and crank up the number of agents a bit. Randomize their distribution slightly. And we're going to hit simulate so that Houdini will get our crowd network all set up nicely for us. Let's better arrange our nodes and put a texture on our agents. Well, now let's put our background back to gray. And now let's dive into the crowd sim node. Hit Ctrl and B to expand the network editor window. And here you can see that we have ragdoll functionality built into the crowd system. There's the bullet solver that will affect the behavior of our agents, turning them into RBD objects or otherwise. There's the ragdoll state and the transition node that will let us go from walking to ragdoll, for example. Here's the trigger node, which has the newly added fuzzy logic brain. So that said, let's see some ragdoll action. By default, they'll go from stand to walk. Let's make them go from stand to ragdoll. Go back to frame one and back up to object level and play it back. Okay, we need a ground plane. So go back to frame one and put one down. Play it back. Go back to frame one and let's get them to walk a bit and then fall down. Let's change the default crowd state from stand to walk. Type in walk. Go back up to object level and play it back. Let's put there a few more agents. Okay, some agents are doing weird floaty stuff, so let's delete those guys. Just hit the number 4 key and select and delete them. Click on delete, delete, and delete. Play it back again. Oops, one more. Rewind to frame 1. And that's the crowd tools with ragdoll functionality inside Houdini.